so we're going to perform what the user asks and this is very simple I say if the command is equal to digital write this is case sensitive because we didn't do any two up or anything I wasn't sure how much extra bytes it would cost to uh, include two upper so I didn't if you want you could include that um, otherwise be careful when you enter this URL because the compare here makes this case sensitive of course okay so if the command is digital write ie equal then we call this one if it's analog read we call this one and as I said earlier these commands are not magical about these commands you could put whatever you want in here um, you can have as many of these commands as you want you can have uh, as many parameters as you want just keep on adding these you know extrapolate these uh, the routine and then finally you actually do the real work of course this will be your real work whatever your app will do uh, for my sample I simply say okay take first parameter take the first character of the of the first parameter this will be an ASCII zero I will subtract the ASCII zero value so if this is ASCII zero minus ASCII zero you end up with zero and so that will be a uh, lead pin zero but in our scenario we put pass in an eight so this will be a, a char eight uh, well actually the, the number eight as an ASCII character <laughs> Um, minus zero and we'll end up with the actual value of eight in here so that's eight and this is uh, the second parameter was a one or a zero so if this is a one that we will end up with a one here if this is zero we'll end up with a zero and this should be familiar with to everyone you say whatever pin that was in my case it was an eight pin eight set it to either zero or one high or low and these are more debug stuff that you could kill if you don't care but I simply say d let pin 0 d0 in decimal is if the LED state is 1 I print on if the LED is not 1 I print off and these are more debug to actually just print the number yeah the difference between this and this this one actually ends up being in the browser whereas this one end up being in the debugger so if you if your app doesn't care if your uh, consumer app whatever client you are actually consuming this with you don't need this you could also kill this of course and it will just do it and you, it will blindly uh, the, the caller will not know whether it actually did it or not but by doing this then you can actually get a little feedback and finally the analog read is pretty much the same the only difference is now instead of actually uh, setting something we're actually reading something and then we actually sending the data back out back to the browser so here's the analog pin spit that out here's the analog value spit it out back to the browser and that is that um, like I said I think you should be able to uh, modify this to, to as many commands as you want as many parameters as you want yeah if you got any questions uh, you can post it to this uh, YouTube video or you can go to this URL and post it on the blog comment and if you end up using this for your project uh, I'd be interested you don't have to give me credit or anything but I'd be interested in seeing uh, what you've done so you can comment here or maybe uh, post it on the Arduino uh, forum or something uh, it's been fun talk to you later bye bye